Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. In this video, I'm excited to show you how Copilot will make your meetings recaps in Microsoft Teams almost instantaneous. We've all been there, back-to-back -back meetings, trying to remember what was discussed, who's responsible for what, and scrambling to take notes while participating. Well, no more. Now keep in mind, I'm demonstrating the paid version of Microsoft Copilot as it works with Microsoft Teams. My first example will be a meeting that I have in the 365 LH team in the live calls channel. And so you see this meeting here in our posts. I can click in the area of where the meeting is, and this opens up a recap screen for me. I'm just gonna close this and just show you another method. There is also the view recap button at the top here. Let's just click on that. It takes me to the same place. When I first saw what Copilot was doing with my meetings, I was so excited because right off the bat, I noticed that minutes after the meeting had finished, the transcript had been provided to me and there was some nice notes that I could actually read. So the notes are showing here on the right hand side of my screen. It's generated by Copilot. I did not type any of these. And there's even a section called follow-up tasks. So it's listening to our meeting and seeing what action that we have as follow-up for afterwards. There is, if you notice at the top here, a place for me to go back and look at the transcript. So it's giving me minute by minute what happens in the transcript. If I click on a part of the transcript, it actually jumps to that part in the in the meeting. Now I could search for something from the meeting. I could search for something that was mentioned. Let's search for the word navigation. And there it finds the first instant instance in the meeting of when we discussed this. So I'm going to click on it and it'll jump to that place in the meeting. Okay. So it's the same minute mark. I can download this transcript if I wish with the download button here. And if there are any mentions, I can actually click on this to see the mentions that are happening within the chat within the meeting. In this case, there aren't any. You can, of course, get up attendance report by clicking on this button here. It tells you when people joined and when they left. You can download that attendance report if you wish. And another interesting thing that happens is it highlights my speakers, topics, and chapters in the meeting. And so right now I'm on speakers. That's just where it starts. And if I click in the blue area for myself here, I'm the main speaker, it jumps ahead to that part of the video. So change the minute mark to 18 minutes here. If I go to the red area here, which is Terry, it'll jump to when he's talking and what he's talking about. And same with the green here for Dixie. So that's quite interesting. If you know someone mentioned something, you're like, okay, I'm not sure where Terry mentioned that, but I think it was part ways through the second half of the meeting, then it's easier maybe for you to find it. I mean, obviously, if you know what it was you're looking for, you could do a search in your transcript for that exact word or phrase, but this is quite cool. Now let's check out the topics filter here, which is what these buttons really represent. So if I click on topics, it says there were a number of topics discussed. I can click on one of these topics here, structure and functionality of online chats. And it jumps to that place in the meeting where we talk about that. Let's jump to meeting enhancements and Q&A. And again, it's jumping to that place in the meeting where that's discussed. This is all AI driven. I didn't type any of this stuff. It's just listening to our meeting and deciding what sounds best as a new topic that's being discussed. Now, I also love the next item here, which is chapters. If I click on this, it's dividing up our meeting into what it feels are appropriate chapters based on the discussion. So these pretty much fall in line with the topics that it picked. So if I click on transition to separate, then it moved to that that area here. So at the top right, I do have the co-pilot icon. If I click on that, that'll open up a place for, for me to have a further chat with co-pilot and ask questions of co-pilot about this meeting. So I can type in any question I have uh, uh, regarding this meeting, or I can actually go to the bottom here where it says more prompts, and I can look at what it suggests for questions or prompts for how we can help me with this meeting. Let's look at what we get if we choose this one here, list different perspectives by topic. So it's reading the transcript to get me an answer for this. Okay, nicely done there. Now I can also go with a couple of other prompts it's giving me here, summarize what I said about the new Teams update, and then also talk about Terry's views. So let's do that. Okay, and then I'm gonna choose this one here, summarize the key points of my demonstration on creating sections in Microsoft Teams. So I could keep going with this, but notice that as I'm having this conversation, I have the little 
icon at the very top, which is the copy icon. So I could copy this and I could post it in the team or put it in my notebook or wherever I feel this would be best served to, to share with others or for my own information. All right, so I'll leave that with you. Go ahead and save time on your next meetings by making sure that Copilot's already in place and that your meeting notes and everything is being taken care of for you by AI. AI is your assistant. All right, have fun. Bye-bye.